All right, guys, so getting set up for deer season. We bought the um, Moultrie, Moultrie Deer Feeder Elite. This is the Elite version. Um, they got different versions of the same feeder, basically, but this is the Elite version. This is pretty much how it comes out of the box. We got the uh, 12 of the leg extensions. It says it'll go from five and a half feet to eight feet tall. Um, we got the angle, angle pieces for the feet, the feet, little anchors, all of our, uh, screws and stuff to put it together right there. It's got a metal funnel down to the, drop the feed onto the, uh, drop the corn onto the broadcaster and there's the lid, top half and the bottom half of the drum. It's all supposed to be a, uh, no tools assembly, so... Let's put this thing together and see what it looks like. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put the feeder funnel on. It comes with these little plastic rivets that hold it in there, so let's do that first. All you do is just push these little plastic black rivets down in there and it just holds the feeder funnel into place. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this upside down. Then there's 12 bolt holes that go around. So we'll put that together just like that. They just come with these little bolts with wing nuts on it. So they go in down through the top, but since I'm doing it upside down, for me it's the bottom. All right, so now we're going to go around and do the other 11. I'm going to get Kirk out here to help me with this since, uh, since this is going to be his feeder out there at his deer stand. Okay, so to put the motor on, all you do is it's got these little three of these little locks. You match up with these little tabs right here. You just push it down on there and give it a twist. And that locks into place and that's how the motor goes on all right so to put these legs in you start with your angled legs and they just go straight in from straight down you just push them down in there it's just a friction fit So now we're going to take it like this 
out there to the woods and we'll where we're going to set it up at we'll finish setting it up and uh we'll put the corn and get the programmer programmed all and all that stuff out there all right so we got it out here where we're going to set it up and kirk's going to go ahead and put the legs in this one it says it's a adjustable height so to speak so you just add more legs to it to uh to get it as high as you want to um we're gonna do the we're gonna do it probably about as short as we want it as tall as we want it is the uh five foot five and a half foot so you just two put two of the leg extensions in there and that'll get it about to the height that we want it Okay, now he's gonna put the feet on, but one little thing is you gotta make sure that the, uh, there's a little hole right there where the feet lock into the bottom of the, lock into the bottom of the stand. So you have to make sure that hole is pointed toward the outside. All right, good job. All right, now he's gonna flip it over. And that's where we're going to put it. Perfect. Just like that. Alright, so that's where we're going to leave it. Um, we're going to... Uh, Go over here and get some corn and bring out here to put in it. Be right back. All right, so we got our two bags of corn in there. Two bags fills it up to about right here, so you could easily get a couple of more bags in there. Uh, it says it'll hold 200 pounds of corn. One other thing we're gonna do is we got a, uh, one cool thing I saw was, the lid has these tabs on it to hold your, uh, to hold your, your uh, trail camera on there and all you got, they even give you a little bolt to put in there and all you do is just, Put your bolt up through the bottom and you can attach your uh your trail camera right to the top of the feeder see if you're getting any activity or whatnot all right so kirk's gonna do the honors of putting the lid on for us so there we go <laughs> now it's set up and we've got our uh, we've got our camera up there so we can see where we're going to be getting any activity or not on our feeder now kirk's going to give us kind of a tour of what our little setup looks like right here this is where we have our deer this is where we're going to shoot from Come on. 